In this video, you will see torture, adultery, and whatever the hell this thing is. Our adventure begins where all adventures begin, by getting kicked out of your mom's basement to roam the wilderness. Basically, we need to go into town and say, Pretty please, mister, can I build on your land? And he'll say, of course, random stranger, build wherever you'd like for free, because I'm just that nice of a guy. What the fuck? Why is it walking like that? Oh, get away from me, you creepy shit. Okay, uh, imagine for a second that this thing barrels around the corner of like an alleyway and you start giggling and sprinting at you. Oh God, that is terrifying. Ma'am, are you aware that your crotch goblin is running around terrorizing the village? You need to put that thing on a leash before it starts eating people. Oh, romance. Sorry, but I'm married. Okay, I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. You basically want me to follow you home tonight and while you're asleep, show up with my surprise meat. I mean, just look at the way she's walking in. She clearly wants me to follow her. So you guys might be thinking, chesticle. This is extremely creepy behavior and very much is not consensual. But uh, let me tell you, concerned viewer, you're wrong. You see, I have proof. If you look closely, you can clearly see that their eyes are still slightly open. They just start pretending to be asleep. They know exactly what's going on and have clearly not objected. That's why I'm going to pull out my meat. The next thought that might cross through your head is, wow, that's a really disappointingly small amount of meat. And I'd say well, it's at least average. Uh, plus, it'll grow. It just it's, it just takes some time, you know, taking a, taking a bit more time than usual. But just give it a second there. Come on, little guy. Come on. Just like we there. Yeah. Come on. A little bit more. Oh, yeah. There you go. See? It is quite average. Hey, you. Hey, where are you going? Guys, is it not enough? I could do better. Come on, please. Oh, look, look, I can even make it twitch. Isn't that hot? Come on. Clearly, my meat is not enough to satisfy them, so I'm going to have to upgrade my meat to logs. Time for round two. I'm going to crush you with the weight of my giant hulking hawk. I mean, log, logs. And you're gonna like it this time. Trust me. Oh my God. <laughs> really outdone myself with this one. <laughs> Not interested in talking to me. You mean sneaking into your house in the middle of the night, filling it with meat, then crushing you under the weight of a thousand logs makes you not want to interact with me? What? I'll teach their own, I guess. So the main allure to this game is its town building and management features. You can basically build up your little city and uproot the lives of random peasants and force them to live out their days in your very own customized labor camps. How fun. It's been a few hours and I've created uh, quite a few houses here and essentially blocked off all exits and made it to where there's only one entrance and it's only accessible through this giant maze. I tested it and it takes about half a day to go all the way through one way. Every single morning they wake up and to even get to water, they have to go through a half day journey through this giant maze. And what's even better is by the time they get all the way through it, they just have to turn around and do it again <laughs> because their AI tells them they have to go to bed. Let's go find our first would-be resident. Hi, I'm here to spread the word about our Lord and Savior, Chesticle. He makes YouTube videos for people just like you. That's right, even a dirty little dirt smacker like yourself has access to all of these beautiful videos. And all you have to do is hit this little button right here. It's free and all he has in return is your never-ending devotion, undying love, and your prostate. So what are you waiting for? Come on! Hey, uh, why aren't you in my maze? What? You can teleport? It's no fun. I'm gonna have to redesign this whole thing. Okay, done some testing, and this is Torture Maze Mark II. Turns out, all you need to do is these little fences because they can't actually pathfind over them. It's great, too, because it makes us have a perfect view of the suffering that they have to go through every time they want to enter their home. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. 
Round and round he goes. I love it. See that right over there? That is a bandit camp and I have some special plans for them. Now I could easily dispatch them, but I don't believe in the death penalty. I firmly believe if we create a reformed detention center with good enough amenities, they will change their ways. Okay, our first feature is finally constructed. If you guys are good, then you can earn 15 minutes of Timmy time. What is Timmy time you ask? Well, Timmy is our resident emotional support snowman. Wow, how nice. And all you have to do is not stab me. How easy is that? Next up, I'll make you guys a home. Hey, what the fuck? Stop, stop. After all I did for you, you're immediately going to stab me? I gave you guys Timmy time. And this is how you repay me? <sighs> I have no other choice. I'm gonna have to take away your moving privileges. Why must you make me hurt you? Uh, unfortunately, we don't have anything to perform shock therapy as I normally would, so fire is gonna have to do. Why are you making me do this? All you need to do is follow the rules. But no, you had to go and make me do horrific things to you because you wanted to do a little stabbing and a little robbing. Is it really worth it? Maybe a few days on the hot coals will be enough to change your mind. While they're roasting, you should check out this video. Also, subscribe.